before we get too far into completing our to-do list, I wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video. Sponsor of today's video is Dye Hair 777. They sent over this beautiful highlighted wig and it is a headband wig, which is my first time ever installing a headband wig. So in the next clip, you guys will see that. Dye Hair 777 has the best quality hair and it is so affordable. Every other wig company that I see has extremely high prices and Dye Hair 777 makes sure that they have great quality as well as affordable prices for any and all that need it. I definitely recommend shopping with them and they actually gave me a discount code that you can use. It'll be on the screen and linked down below in the description box for all over is over $50. If you guys would like to match with me, the link of the exact hair that I got will be in the description but it is so beautiful and so cute. I'm so thankful that I was able to partner with them for today's video and I'm not going to keep rambling for this segment. I do want you to know that their hair is soft, silky, and it responds really well to heat. But instead of just talking about it, I wanted to show you firsthand how amazing the hair is and how long it lasts and all of that. I'm going to quickly show you guys my hair, me doing my hair getting cute because that is essential for checking off your to-do list because to do good, to be productive, you have to feel good and you have to look good. Hair is the number one thing that I need to look good. So without further ado, let's check one more item off of our to-do list by getting our hair done. Thank you so much once again, Dye Hair 777, for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be kind of checking off my to-do list or completing my to-do list. Just things that I have to get done that I've definitely been procrastinating, which is a lot. There's just things that I need to do, just to do, and I have not been on it this summer, like at all i've been procrastinating so much and i just need to like finish it all up so it stops stressing me out and i can enjoy my last few days of summer so this is the list that i have planned right here and it starts today because today or this morning i'm actually going to get a massage and that is the first thing that i'm going to check off my to-do list because i feel like if i'm already going into it like relaxed and zen i feel like i'll get more done i don't know i want to be relaxed when i before i start everything so that i can kind of be as productive as possible so um i'm going to get a massage today my mom went to this place she said it was pretty good and that was like the best massage she had ever had or something and i think she had this day booked for her but then she didn't end up needing it anymore so she was like okay well i can get the massage so i'm glad that i can get the massage and use it because my back hurts like so bad and i know i'm only like 15 but i'm telling you being an athlete at a young age sucks for like every part of your body because it's like something is always in pain so i'm excited to see kind of how this goes where this takes me you know all of that fun stuff but i am starting off completing my to-do list today i have a couple things that i would like to get done so i am just hoping 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 that i can fulfill some of those things because i don't know this I, I need to get stuff done and be productive it's time i need to stop procrastinating it's just really stressing me out more than it would if i would have just got each thing done here's some the things i have to do again they're each pretty big in their own way so you guys will follow me along for this video and i hope you guys enjoy it and the next time i see you i'll probably be in the car on the way to the spa just because i don't know where it is i might see you in the car i might see you when i get there i'm probably not going to be able to get that much vlog footage anyways just because the massage spa they won't let me like lay down and hold the camera up but i'll try and see what i can get so i'll see you guys later massage studio spa all of that it was really nice they did a good job it's called bull city souls and they i'm pretty sure there was massage with their feet i think that's what my mom said but it's really nice really good so now that i'm relaxed i can start checking stuff off of my to-do list and completing it because definitely have a lot to do i'm gonna try and do it fast like in the span of a couple days because i'm not trying to let this linger on forever the time i'm filming this it's july 18th and i go back to school august 4th so 
I really need to pick it up, hurry it up, which is why I want to complete everything that I need to do within this week, and even better if I can do most of it today. So it's only 1 o'clock right now. By the time I get home and stuff, I can knock out a couple of the things that I have to do that are like smaller things. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do that. I'll see y'all when I get home for it. the next thing that is on my to-do list. Okay, y'all, so yes, I look a mess, but I am home, as you can see by the robe, the background, all of that. So the next thing on my to-do list is doing my laundry. And this isn't just a simple putting away like it usually is. I literally have that. Like, it's literally full of stuff. I've just been putting it off, and I really honestly need to do it because that's, like, half of the clothes that I wear on rotation are there, and I think we're going to go on, like, a road trip soon. So I need to get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my clothes. It's currently, like, 5 o'clock now. We went to, like, Costco and running other errands and stuff like that. But I do want to get the laundry knocked out and done and just put away. Just don't have to deal with it anymore because my parents also keep talking about it, and it's like, I already know i already know what needs to be done i need to go ahead and do my laundry i'm going to take you guys downstairs with me and i'm going to go ahead and do that finally took care of the laundry it, it's so much better in my room like there's not a huge pile of clothes in here so that's pretty great i really needed to do that i don't know why i always procrastinate doing laundry it's like the easiest job in the world but i still hate doing it it's just something about having to do it that it's like i don't feel like it right now and i need to stop saying that this is the video guys mark my words where i'm gonna stop saying i don't feel like doing it right now and i might say it on accident a few times but we're gonna try and break the habit now the last thing that i'm gonna do today is plan my content and edit a little bit i'm gonna edit some of this video and then i have another video going up it's a sponsorship i also need to plan video ideas because i have a lot of sponsorships rolling in not too many video ideas though so i need to make sure i know what days i'm gonna film on what days i'm gonna post what days i'm gonna edit because if i don't plan out what i'm gonna do it all gets kind of carried away from me so like if i have a sponsorship i agree to doing it which i agree to like most of my sponsorships if they're legit then i'll just like be like okay i have a sponsorship and then i'll forget i have to film a video for it and I'll be out and about not filming and I could be taking you guys with me like tell me to get on it I'm gonna get on it this video for real like this is this is the day I stop playing literally So the next thing that I'm gonna do is plan content and edit that's gonna be the last thing for today <laughs> A tornado flew around my book before you came Excuse me, the mess it made, it usually doesn't rain In Southern California, much like Arizona My eyes don't shed tears before they go But I'm thinking about you, oh no, no, no I've been thinking about you, you no, no, no I've been thinking about you, do you think about us? and today is another day and i am going to be tackling this assignment that i have no i have not started this at all and no i'm not going to finish it all today i'm going on a road trip soon so that's when i want to do like the bulk of it but i wanted to at least get a start today and for this video and no we're not going to talk about how i look because we're trying to be productive not cute keep the comments to yourself please because i already know i look rough but i'm gonna go on my computer because we've had this summer assignment since like may something so i'm gonna try and knock it out the book is called the Water Dancer by Tanashi Coates and it's supposed to be really good. I read one chapter and I literally could not understand it so I had to look up like sparky notes of what was going on and who was who and stuff. So I'm hoping it makes more sense for the assignments because we have assignments for the book so you have to like write paragraphs and stuff like that. The assignments I'm gonna look online about like a summary of each chapter and then when I finish the assignments because there's only 17 slides so if I can fill out those 17 slides and be done and then just be able to read the book afterwards I feel like that would be such a big help so I'm going to try and fill out as much as I can on my computer right here of the presentation stuff and get as much work done as I can and then anything that I just don't understand from like the summary I'll read the book and answer that 
and I should be able to read this whole book for like a six, seven hour road trip. It is 11.15 a.m. So it's the perfect time to just start something, get a good dent in it, and then just be done. Because I start school two weeks from tomorrow, which literally sucks. I start school August 4th, which I probably already mentioned in this video, sorry. I'm gonna just try and get as much stuff as I can done, and then we'll knock it out from there. So I will see you guys in a second. Money, hold on, got it. Cut up, light up, water, water, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, your bitch, on the, on the, on the, wanna, come on, come on, on the, hey, come on, stun on, stun on, sun on, summer, been in, on the, on the, cook up, hey, Michael, hey, surf up, wave, have it. Sipping a corn, reach, nigga on a one, baby, drinking an a con, baby, but a p con, bringing out on a refund. There's five parts of the book and it, that's how my school broke it up or something so like chapters one through four is part one and I just finished part one of the book so I am so happy and proud of myself that I finally sat down and dedicated time to do it and I'm gonna try and do one part each day. I don't think that's too much to ask especially because tomorrow I could probably knock out two or three parts if I'm lucky so I'm just gonna keep doing this and I almost filled out all the questions for it because there was like before reading questions or the introduction activity and stuff right now I'm just finishing up some of those but I did finish parts one through four and there's 34 chapters in this book I mean I finished chapters one through four and there's 34 chapters in this book so part one is done and I have four left to do so I'm very happy and excited that I got that done and I think that's pretty much it that I have to do today, but I will give y'all the outro later just because I'm kind of on a roll right now, so I'm gonna keep going with what I have to do.
Okay y'all, so I did a little bit of makeup and I installed this headband wig from Dye Hair 777 and this is the favorite, my favorite hair that I've ever installed. It says not to use too, too much heat on it or if you do use heat protectant. So I didn't straighten it, but I also need to just suck it up and buy a hot comb because these little makeshift parts are really not giving for me. But I am in love with this color. It's so cute. I feel like it looks good with my skin tone. It's super cute. It's going to get a lot of good use. And I do want to take like a few pictures because I just really like it. And I might post some on my Instagram story and stuff. But I feel like it looks really, really good. I don't know. What do you guys think? I wanted my hair like this brown color, not the blonde. But I don't know. I feel like it's so cute on me. I love it. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the hair install portion, which was actually step whatever of completing my to-do list because the last thing you want to do i started off relaxed and then i ended off getting cute because that's kind of like my reward to myself for completing what i need to get done and stop ending procrastination and all of that oh my gosh i can't stop looking at myself with this hair i love it i love it i don't know maybe it's just me but i feel like i look different and i look good I'm going to be wearing this hair all the time, so thank you so much Dye Hair 777 for sponsoring this video. But that actually brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was supposed to be like productive and maybe not the most fun things to vlog, but just things that I had to get done. And bear with me y'all because summer vlogs are coming after this because I did vlog a little bit this summer and I'm gonna try and like combine it into a video as my summer is coming to an end. So I'm with like the productive vlogs and we'll do some more fun vlogs and more fun content i've been trying to be as consistent as possible so y'all tell me how you like it i just didn't want the summer to go to waste without me posting a few times that is it for me i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like comment subscribe and share and tag me on instagram if you're watching this right now and i will see you guys later bye